Finally, WoW 64 update for Mobax release. Hi guys, welcome back to Coldman channel. Today in this video I want to let you know that after weeks, Mobax Simulator along with WoW 64 is released publicly on February 8. You may ask yourself, what is the advantage of WoW 64? This means that it is possible to run 32-bit Windows applications on a purely 64-bit Unix installation. This is called the new WoW 64 mode as opposed to the old WoW 64 mode where 32-bit applications run inside a 32-bit Unix process. And if I want to explain in simple terms, the Windows emulator that were programmed based on Wine are divided into 32-bit and 64-bit. And depending on the program support, they use one of these two, 32 or 64. Previously, if you wanted to run 32-bit games, you need a 32-bit OS and Wine to able to run games. But with the new mechanism, it would make it possible to run 32-bit games on 64. So in simple sentence, WoW 64 means run 32-bit on a 64-bit OS. So you don't need 32-bit OS on Wine anymore. And for Mobox, since Wine does not translate x86 code to R and the Box64 layer provides this functionality, Box86 is no longer needed for Mobox WoW 64. And the next question is that, how does it perform in Snapdragon CPU for 32-bit games? Well, it's a still on better of a release and experimental. Therefore, it is a bit difficult to give an exact answer to this question. But in general, so far, the games played on Adreno 7 series GPU that they perform better, and we have seen significant increase in frame rate than Adreno 6 series GPU. Actually, 30% so speed increase for Adreno 7 series, and 20% for Adreno 6 series. And the improvement is not limited to this one. Previously, some games that used DirectX 10 and 11 didn't have the possibility to use higher version of DXVK, such as version 1.10 or 2.3, and the game could be only run with an old version of DXVK, which had weird texture flickering. This problem has been solved in this update too. Okay, now let's go back to Mobax WoW 64 big update. What's new? Added Vine 8.18 when allowed with easing patch untested, revoked dynamic settings, updated box 64, added turnip version 2, services freeze fix, fun fix, more root stuff, and more debug stuff, added y9.1 vanilla with easing patch, untested, updated box 64, and box 64 RC. That's it. Feel free to share your experience about this in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you want to support me, hit a sub button and share with it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.